Hello all, welcome back to my videos. In today's video, I will demonstrate how we can use YAML file to create a basic EC2 instance. So to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the YAML module in Python. So what I, it can be done using pip, pip install, so install py. YAML. So this is the module that I'm going to use. I have already installed this uh, module. So once I run this command, I will get the system uh, requirements have been already met. So you can install the in the same way your uh, PyYAML module so that you can parse the YAML file. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a YAML file and the attributes that I am, I'm going to use, I have already taken it from the AWS documentation page. So these are the attributes that I'm going to use. So now let me go ahead and create a YAML file with these attributes. So the first thing is image ID. So I can write it as image ID colon. I have already copied the image, uh, the image ID, the AMI ID. So I will take it over there and put it. So this is my image ID that I'm going to use. The next thing is instance type that I'm going to use instance type and that will be a t2 dot micro the next attribute is max count and minimum count so max count will be one and min minimum count will also be one the next thing is what I'm going to use is a tag specification so tag specification right so I can put it as tag specifications right and just below that I'm going to use the resource type so that is resource type and the resource type that I'm going to use is oops, sorry I missed the indention over here okay the resource type is an instance the next thing and what I'm going to use is tags if you see over here tags so I'll mention tags here and then I'm going to use the key is name and its value that I'm going to use value is let's say YAML EC2 instance so this is the YAML file that I'm going to use okay so let's uh, let me remove this okay so now let's go back to my script and see how we can use this yaml file to create the ec2 instance so as a default i need a i want to import yaml module so that i can pass the yaml file then i need the boto module so that i can use connect to my ec2 aws okay so these are two modules that i have imported next thing what i am going to do is i will create a resource for EC2 instance so that is my client equals boto3 dot client and then the service that I'm going to use is EC2 and I will be creating it under the region name US West 1 Okay, now as my data is all there in my this YAML file, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this uh, YAML file. So I will do it with open the file name that is ec2 instance.yaml. So if you can see the file name over here, this is 
ec2 instance.yml and i want to open it as a read only and then as and then a file handle for it now next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to load the entire contents of that yaml file to a variable let me say let's say that the variable on which i want to load all this data is my data and then yaml dot load and then the file handle f and then space loader equals yaml dot full loader right so this will load my yaml file and it will assign all the contents to this particular variable that i have created next thing is let me go ahead and create the ec2 instance so if as we all know that uh, we can use the method called as run instances to create my ec2 instance so my client dot run underscore instances and then i want to pass this variable over here so that will be my data sorry my data so this is the file that i am going to pass so this is this is the data that i'm going to pass so i want to pass all the data it is there in my data and to to my run instances method right so this looks good okay my client this okay now let me go ahead and run it before that let me show my console right now okay right now i am in us west one and i don't have an instance let me go ahead and execute this script and let's see what happens so once i go ahead and run it let me go to my console refresh it nothing actually now okay so now this is uh, this code has completed with written code zero so that means it has been successful now let me go back and check here so if you see now you can see a new ec2 instance is getting created using the yaml file so this is one way uh, through which you can use yaml to create ec2 instances and many other resources in aws so in next coming videos we will see how we can create a vpc or subnets using the ec2 uh, sorry using the uh, yaml file so uh, i hope this small videos help you understand how to use yaml file in boto3 to create resources in next video we'll meet with some uh, new interesting topic till then take care and have a great day bye bye